What's up guys, it's Michael from AppliedTech.com. Today I have the review of the Switch Easy Colors case for the iPhone 5. Now the Switch Easy Colors case for the iPhone 5 comes in many colors and is available for only 20 bucks. The first color being black, white, red, kind of a yellowish, a pinkish, purple, green, blue, another type of red, another type of blue, another type of pink, another type of purple, and another type of green. So of course, because it is the colors case, they are going to have many colors to choose from. I believe the model I have here is actually this purple one. So let's start this case review off like I normally do, and that's taking a look at the ports and cutouts on this phone. So on the bottom of the case, you can see a cutout for your speaker, your microphone, your lightning pin connector, and you also see something you don't really see on most cases, and that's actually a button for the home button. On the side of the case, you'll be able to see their rotation lock as well as the volume up and down buttons. I had absolutely no problems accessing the up and down buttons. In fact, it felt very nice uh, pushing them up and down. It's almost like I didn't have a case on, as well as the rotation lock switch. I didn't have any trouble getting my finger in there either. On the top of the case, you can see a button for the power button. I also didn't have any problems uh, using the power button with this case on. You can also see the FaceTime camera is completely exposed, so you have no issues with that. And overall, the power button, the FaceTime camera, no issues at all. There's also a medium-sized cutout, I guess you could say, for the camera on the back. I also didn't have any problems taking pictures with this case on. Now, this is a silicone case, so that means installing and uninstalling the iPhone 5 is very easy. All you're going to want to do is slip it in and you're good to go. Taking the iPhone 5 out of the case is also probably the easiest thing I've done uh, for the cases I've reviewed for the iPhone 5 so far. Because it is silicone, it's going to pry one of the corners off and then just pull the iPhone 5 out. It's really nice if you're someone who switches up cases a lot. Now you guys may not know, but I also really like silicone cases, mainly just because they feel good in the hands to hold and overall they're just nice to hold. Although they do attract a little more hair and stuff and it's harder to take out of your pocket because it just grips more, I really like silicone cases. They're also very good for drop protection because they pretty much form to anything you drop on. So if you drop it onto a table or something, it's just going to form to that and protect it. Now something I didn't think I was going to like was actually this home button. When I first got the case, I was like, ah, I'm not going to like this. And then I put the case on and I actually really like this. I actually prefer it over just a regular home button. It's really fluid to use. I never had any issues with it. And I really, really like the button on this case. I also really like these jelly coating volume buttons as well as the power buttons. They basically feel like you don't even have a case on. They're very, very responsive. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably knew this was coming. But yes, it has a lay on the table design. Absolutely love it when cases have these. If the case doesn't have a lay on the table design, I pretty much don't even use it at all. This one does have a lay on the table design, and it actually uh, fits fleshly enough to the phone where it's not going to get any dust or anything in between. And you can lay it on the table safely without it scratching your screen. I love lay on the table design cases. Now, also included in the packaging for this case for free was a dust protector for your charging port and headphone port. Now this thing is also made out of silicone, very easy to install, and it's also very easy to uninstall. And it also sits very flush with the actual case. You won't really even notice it's there. And if you ever need to charge it using a third party adapter, it won't fit in there. You just gotta take the dust protector off and you're good to go. Now here's just a closer look at the actual home button on the case. It does uh, raise the home button just a little bit. Not too much to really even bother you, but you will notice when you're using your thumb. But this is actually something I like. This is really just personal preference. If you have a local Best Buy by you or something like that, go ahead and see if they have the colors case in. Go try this case on and see if you like the home button. I absolutely loved it. Otherwise, this is pretty much going to conclude my review of the Switch Easy Colors case for the iPhone 5. Thank you to Switch Easy for sending this out. And also, stay tuned to the channel for an iPad mini case review that also came from Switch Easy. If you're a fan of silicone cases and you want to try something new with a different type of home button, overall just a different type of feel, definitely pick up the Switch Easy Colors case. If you're still on the fence about it, go ahead and try to go to your local Best Buy or something, see if they have the Colors case in, and I'm sure they'd let you try the case on. Switch Easy sent me out three iPhone 5 cases to review, and this is my favorite one out of all of them. If you guys missed my last video, click the video playing on screen right now to go check that out. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.